Returning to the conflict in the Middle East, President Biden says a deal to secure the release of some of the 230 Israeli hostages held captive by Hamas since the 7th of October is getting closer. Well, joining us now from Ramallah in the West Bank is Wafa Abdel Rahman, director of the Palestinian Feminist Organization. Wafa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. How hopeful do you feel about the hostage release? I want to be hopeful. We, we get different conflicting news since the past two days. Uh, we get news from the Israelis, we get news from the Palestinians. Uh, what I care about is actually the feelings of my family and my friends back there in Gaza. They're very hopeful. Uh, they want this to end as soon as possible. We're calling for a ceasefire and not only a truce. Uh, exchange of uh, uh, prisoners to happen soon. Uh, so uh, we are hopeful. We're, we're praying this, this will come to an end very soon. Can I ask as well, is there concern on the ground in Gaza that once the hostages are released, that actually the situation won't change for Palestinians and that it could in fact even get potentially worse? Uh, in Gaza, um, and for everybody, nobody wants to keep prisoners inside Gaza. Uh, and everybody is looking forward just to send them back to, to their families. But this, this should be done in, in a fair um, uh, deal, uh, meaning ending the aggression on Gaza, ending the war on Gaza at the same time releasing the Palestinian prisoners um, in the Israeli jail. Can I, um, can I jump in? I really appreciate you being on, Wafa Abel. Thank you so much indeed. Um, I think we all want the hostages released. I just, I just have a question for you. Um, you said exchange of prisoners. You talked about the aggression on Gaza. This was started by Hamas launching a terrorist activity against the Israeli people. I'm not, by the way. I, I'm, I'm with Nick. I want all the hostages. But I doubt if Israel's going to negotiate with terrorists, are they? they They're to. not terrorists. What, Hamas They're aren't not terrorists? They're not terrorists. They're not terrorists. Hamas aren't terrorists? Um. They're not terrorists. Nelson Mandela. No, no, no. Sorry, was, I can't have that at all. A I can't have that. Fighter. 1,400 people were literally subjected to genocide. Babies were beheaded uh, in birth. Check your that numbers, is terrorists. It was, it was 12 terrorists. Out from the Israeli media. Yep, check they've your confirmed numbers. that it's First, 1,200. It doesn't matter friends. whether it's 12. Those are terrorist no, genocidal no, no, behaviors, no. madam. No, no, Won't no. have it. You Sorry. rely on the Israeli media. You don't double check. And this is the job of. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Fact. It's not a terrorist Yes, it is. Sorry. It's a Absolutely party. not having it. Not changing uh, my mind. It's up to you. To, yep, to it's up to whatever. you as well. I agree. And what, do you call, what do you call the Israeli government? What do you call the fascist? I don't call the Israeli, the Israeli government, government a terrorist organization. What do you call the That's all killing I have to say on it. Sorry. Terrorists, since Hamas. The beginning fact. Of the year. They're not terrorists. Yes, they are. They're not. Terrorists. No, you and not. Corbyn need to understand they're terrorists. You Wafa, need to understand Let's just stop shouting for a second. You need to name things as they are. Terrorists. It's genocide okay, that let, is let me just, in Wafa, Gaza I, done by an Israeli criminal government. Out of time. Army. Terrorists. Wafa, whilst I appreciate that it's very important that we call terrorism we call people who commit acts of terrorism terrorists. I just want to really quickly, Wafa, understand why you say that Hamas are not. They're not. They're and not. the explanation because for that the would Israelis be... Israelis have been terrorising us. The question for you, do you believe the Palestinians have the right to resist? This is the first question. I the think there's a difference question, between Palestinians kind of and Hamas. do you expect... I hope, I hope there's a difference between genuine Palestinians and Hamas, but there Wafa is. Abel, thank you very much indeed. We're out of time. All yours, Nick. Sorry, not changing my opinion on that. No, that's fine. I just wanted to try and understand why people would come from I that. want to know if the return of the hostages and then a ceasefire results in Hamas then attacking Israel again. Sorry, my opinion. You're entitled to yours, Wafa, but thank you for coming on.